Hello, welcome to my channel, in this video, we are going to share our experience staying at Eastern Grand Hotel Firethai Bangkok. We travel just before Chinese New Year on the 7th of February. This trip we would like to experience Chinese New Year vibes in Bangkok, so join us on this. Exciting journey! We started our journey at Changi Airport Terminal 4. It's a morning flight and beautiful weather today. From Singapore to Bangkok is a two and a half hour flight. We are taking Jetstar Airway and we have pre booked our meals. Our flight took off on time, we can't wait to arrive in Bangkok. We love that our meals comes with a cup of Udder's ice cream, a Singapore local brand. Before we knew it, the captain announced for landing and here we are at Bangkok. We're going to take the airport rail link straight to Phyathai Station, where we can walk to our hotel via a link bridge. One of the big reasons we choose this hotel is how convenient is it to reach. Our hotel is just three minutes walk from the Phyathai Station. Our first impression of the hotel was a wow. Look how grand is the lobby? I absolutely love the high selling design. The striking interior design of the hotel was inspired by Fire Type Palace. Here, it hosts for 190 for deluxe rooms and luxurious penthouse suites. Eastern Grand Hotel Fire Thai is located in a vibrant, new mixed use complex, along with modern office spaces and incredible retail stores. The hotel is conveniently located in the heart of the city with direct access to Phyathai BTS. Hi! We're in uh, Grand Eastern Hotel and we are checking in right now. Uh, we have two pools at level 37 and level 22. Uh, our, we live, our hotel room is at level 5 and after I check in, we're gonna go up there and we go our room tour. We fell in love with the room the moment we entered it. The cleanliness is impeccable, the design is bright and modern, the smell in the room is so good. We immediately feel like we are at home. The toilet design is very bright and classy. The marble tiles gives a luxury blend into the room. Now, let's look at the view outside. We got an unblocked 180 degrees panorama view of the city. How beautiful is this? Although this hotel is situated in the middle of the city, the soundproof is nicely done, we hardly hear any noise from the outside. Now, let's give the bed quality a test. We can't wait to sleep on this big and comfy bed. It can easily fit three of us. Next, we visit the Infinity Pool at level 22nd. The view is just jaw-dropping from here. 
we can spend our day relaxing and enjoying the city skyline. There are many sunbeds and gazebos available. There is enough space for everybody. I can help, but I have to order a glass of local beer. To enjoy this amazing view, as hotel guests, we enjoy 50% discounts on all food and beverages. Next, let us visit the second pool at level 37. The view here is spectacular, we are just in time to enjoy the sunset view. There were lesser crowd on this floor. We felt like we were having the entire pool by ourselves. Everything was well maintained, the water is clean and clear. Everything was exceeding our expectations. The sun is setting fast, and now the skyline become purple colour. This is probably a perfect day one could ever ask for. The next day, we can't wait to try the breakfast spread at level 10. We have heard a lot of good reviews about the buffet breakfast, so we wake up early for it. We start with the Asian zone, where you can find your normal fried rice, noodles and stir fries. The restaurant is very spacious. The design is very modern and vibrant, it gives an inviting feels the moment we enter. The food variety is endless, from Asian to Western. From savoury to desserts and drinks, it's literally loaded with options. Here at Dim Sum Station, we enjoy the freshness of the ingredients, everything is well organised and smells delicious. We love the cook to order noodle station. You can taste the famous Thai style fish ball noodle soup here. The chef will cook the noodle of your choice right in front of you. Then we moved on to salad station. We were very impressed by the variety of ingredients. It shows that the chef really want to make each station shine. Here at Japanese Station, you get your sushi fix, miso soup. Solver fish, you can even pair them with so many condiments provided. What more could you ask for? When you see a mountain of local fruits in front of you. Thailand is famous for their fruits produce. Every fruit served here is freshly cut and at their best quality. Next we have Honey and Bread Station. This is one of my favourite station too. Look at how fresh the breads are. 
You can even warm your bread before eating. From pie to tarts, danishes to cupcakes, from waffle to cakes. You can have them all, the choice is endless, only your stomach is limiting you. Of course, we will have our egg station. I love that there are plenty of sunny side up ready for us. So, you do not need to wait too long for your order. At this station, we particularly enjoy the homemade meatloaf. We think it's a must have if you visit here. We also love that they have multiple coffee machine stations across the restaurant, so you do not have to queue for your coffee. The ceiling of the restaurant is decorated with lots of greens. It gives a very relaxed feel when you dine in here. I will give this breakfast 5 out of 5 stars. Simply because of the variety of food, the freshness of the ingredients, and the spacious design. Here is the end of our sharing. We highly recommend this hotel, and we definitely will be back. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you stayed here before, or you're going to book this hotel after watching.